Good morning, Sunday, 24th of September 2017, venue Thai Farm, Great Cornard, Suffolk. Where world and British champions of different motorcycle disciplines have, have ridden at this venue. Now today is a double header. First of all, it must mention the Dave Rover Memorial event this is, and proceeds today will go to his fund, which helps our youngsters to progress in the sport. It's a double header, and first we've got we've got up the um, youth race, 12 to 16, the Hare and Hounds, and that runs for one hour. Then we have a four hour straight off Dave Berkshire Motorcycles Two Man Championship, which is the fourth and last round. Positions Championship class Sam Mitchell and Brendan Myers are on 54 points, Rick Roper and Jamie Roper are on 37 points, Harvey Mutton and Toby Morley on 26 points. Will Carey and Chris Hockey on 23 points, and so are Ross Taylor and Michael Ridge. Now, Rick Rope and Jamie Roper will not be riding because Jamie injured himself, so he's out for the rest of this year, etc. So really, they're the only ones who could catch Mitchell and Myers. So therefore, they've got the title this year. And it's just a question of who's going to be runner-up and third. And... The Roper brothers could actually be second or third if the other riders below do not score high points. Looking at the expert class, it's Ben Grice and Kevin Palmer on 48 points, Mark Mitchell and Joe Marsh on 34 points, Chris Wright and Dan Willis on 28 points, Lee Waller, Lewis Waller I should say, Lee Munger, on 26 points, so is Dan Wright and Alex Berkshire, while Nigel Ross and Graham Mays on 24 points. Now, the combination of Christ and Palmer really just needs seven points today, as all rounds count, and they've got the title. And that's a question of runners up. And um, Mitchell and Marsh could actually win it if anything drops down. and. Wright and Willis could actually uh, win it on a tiebreaker, but it all depends what happens. We move on to clubman class. Will Nice and Ben Marshall on 42 points, Paul and Daniel Hunt on 41 points, Matt Smith and Mark Norton on 26 points, so are Andrew Peake and Mark Grimmer, while Carl Betts and Aaron Parkshire on 22 points. Now this is very close, so there's two points in it. And really, who can tell? It's between the top two, I believe, although the, the uh, Smith, Norton and Peake Grimmer teams could snatch it. They're in, if they don't, they're in for second or third place. So this is going to be interesting. Bring on the racing. So um, welcome to the last two-man championship round sponsored by Dave Berkshire Motorcycles. 
It's a two-man championship. Um, all the championship standing so far here on the board, if you want to see how you're doing. Um, today's event, obviously it started late, unfortunately. I do apologise for that. The ambulance is turned up late, so that's knocked us back an hour. So, as far as the times are concerned, you're just going to add one hour onto your time cards. So all the minutes stay the same. And obviously we start at half past 11. Um, the time control area behind me, the transponder receivers that hang down, the board is on one side. It sort of makes you think it'll only pick up one side. That isn't the case. It's got about a foot radius all around that area that will pick up your transponder. So you just wave it past. Don't try and press it against it. Wave it past and you must see your number on the screens. There's one on the left, one on the right. If you don't see your number, you've got to wave it again. If you go without seeing your number, you won't be counted. And it's your responsibility, so make sure you uh, see your number come up. Um, don't go through, try and go there too quick and keep going. You've got to stop and do it. Don't hang on the transponder. It'll fall off, all that sort of stuff. Just be sensible. Blue taped area, you can come in the pits after the transponder, swap with your partner. You must swap your time card. A lot of people are thinking, well, why do we need these time cards? Because people were going out, so you had two men on the track at the same time. We'll be watching you swap your time cards here. Otherwise, you'll be excluded. Obviously, your time card is also for your information. You can see what time you need to come in, etc. Um, what else? Track, I think you've all rode here before. It's all been bedded in by the youths for you, so it's not going to be slippery. Obviously, the bit out the back, you do an extra field. It is gated, so keep between the arrowed gates. Don't cut across. Again, we'll have marshals keeping an eye on you. There's a bit over in the spinny as well, which is a bit tricky. Be careful, there's a few tree roots. Um, and I think that's nearly it. Also, yeah, um, Chappers has told me that if you want to do the National Enduro, the Monk Jack, entries are nearly full, so you need to get, get entered pretty quickly. And um, also, we've got some uh, vice presidents here from the Sudbury Motorcycle Club that were actually instigated the first motocrosses here in the 60, in the 60s. Freddie Mays, Barry Chaplin and Trevor Andrews. So a bit of a round of applause for those guys, please. Uh, that's it. Don't Enjoy. Forget, don't forget your mats. Environmental. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, I can see there's a few down here. Make sure you've all got environmental mats um, this time and if not this time, next time. Have a great day. Round four, final round of the day, Berkshire Motor Titles 2 Man Enduro is about to start. I'm also pleased to say that Jim Aim, legendary Jim Aim, is here today. My eldest brother, Chad, and also known as Charlie and his wife, also known as Tony, also his wife, Penny. We have about just over a minute and we'll be starting. Okay, we're an hour late because of the medical service has been an hour late. So four hours non-start. We're going down to 50 seconds. 45 seconds is the two of the three was the first to go. There are only two championship riders today. Now we're coming up to 30 seconds, 30 seconds to go. Rick is Rick Roper starting them. He's looking at the the accurate clock down to my right. My watch is accurate as well. We're coming up to 15 seconds to go. 15. 10 seconds. Doesn't show seconds, but I can see that. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One time. And off they go. We have now started the two man. Next one up will be the expert coming up next. They don't seem to want to come forward, but uh, they're a minute late in starting. And Paul Belton is up there.
13 times from 14. We still 14 today. There's a 14 pushing up. Gary Gladwin is that. Half a day too late. Well, it's time to start, Rick. 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 What time do they start, Rick? Jack's Where's the minute? Where's the second? Right. 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 All on his own, this one. Jack Berry, yes. Great grandfather called Chuck. About to start. And a minute's time. The next one.
go and freak them out and fight them out. An hour and 20 minutes, just over an hour and 20 minutes gone. Start of half at 11, unfortunately. Half is three finished. Before we start the riders meeting, the last Sudbury motorcycle event, unfortunately we had someone pass away. Uh, he's Gareth Young, he was a Sudbury Club member and uh, yeah, it was uh, just an unfortunate event and uh, he passed away on the day, uh, leaving behind two young children and a wife. So uh, as a mark of respect, I'd just like to do a minute's silence please, starting from now. Okay, thank you. 